Well, happy Thanksgiving 2015. I'm going to show you how we fry a turkey uh, that our family has grown to love so much that we don't even use the oven uh, roasted version anymore. Uh, we actually had Thanksgiving yesterday and today we're going to do a second turkey, um, mainly because it was a nice day. We love it uh, and we had everything set up. The oil we use is a vegetable peanut oil blend. You don't have to use uh, all peanut oil. Uh, I bought it this year uh, at Home Depot for about $30 and we used three gallons. Here's a video or a picture of um, what I think is uh, an optimal flame. It's got a blue tint to it, just as if it were a, a Bunsen burner in high school. I like this model because it has an attached um, thermometer on the side. While the oil's heating up outside, uh, the bird should be drying or air drying inside. You need to make sure that there's no dripping water at the time of cooking and you absolutely have to make sure that this is completely thawed. I think that's the basis for a lot of these horror stories and explosions that you hear. Make sure that the carcass is um, empty and that you've removed all plastic pieces including the pop-up timer and the plastic hanger as well as the gizzards and the turkey neck. You can see that we are about ready to cook. The temperature is about 350 degrees and the needle is nicely within the green area on the uh, thermometer. I'm going to slowly submerge the uh, turkey into the hot oil and you can tell it's a relatively controlled uh, boil or fry. That's about as explosive as it should get. You can see steam rising immediately and <clears throat> all you really need to do is keep it covered for the required uh, cooking time. And again, I like to cook it about two and a half minutes per pound, assuming you can get the temperature up to 350. And there's really nothing you need to do to monitor this other than just to uh, watch the clock. You know, after about a half an hour, we noticed that the temperature of the oil actually uh, decreased. And I think this is due to the amount of steam that's created. The uh, energy from the hot oil creates steam and overall uh, decreases the temperature of um, the entire pot. There's really not much to do until uh, it's time to remove the bird. There's no turning or basting or anything like that. When I pull the turkey out, I'll usually put it on a uh, old towel or some uh, cardboard uh, to absorb the oil and then I can just simply throw it away. So in preparation to remove the uh, turkey, this system has a, uh, two ways to shut off the uh, flame. One is to just cut the igniter and then also to turn off the valve from the propane, propane tank. Simply lift it out. Let it drip a little bit. Put it on your cardboard or tray, what have you, and then we'll move it inside. I usually wait at least uh, probably a half hour, 45 minutes to let it cool and to finish cooking before we attempt to start to carve it. So this is the finished product. We brought it inside. This also has two extra turkey necks stuck to the side, if you can see them. Those are those funny appendages. Uh, they didn't really taste too well. They became, they were a little too tough because I left it in there for the entire uh, cooking time. And I'm removing one of them here. And I'm removing the second one there. It's kind of fried or glued to the side. But there you go. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your turkey.